Beautiful. <laughs> it's like the best Christmas present ever. We're on the way to go and get Marley. He's been staying at a little doggy resort. <laughs> oh, we've made it back to the marina. Bit nervous time coming down to see Nancy for the first time. years away from Australia, it was great to return home for the Christmas period to see friends and family. Being away for so long and living on a small boat, travelling through different cultures and small island nations, it is easy to forget the vast open beauty that is Australia. The long straight roads that seem to go on forever and the barren dry fields that are different shades of sun-cooked. We visited beautiful Kangaroo Island to see my brother right before the island was devastated by bushfire. We drove 900 kilometres across the state to Port Lincoln to see my younger brother and help out around his property. <laughs> we visited mum in Tumby Bay and managed to squeeze in some fishing. Got a fish. <laughs> Our time in South Australia was coming to an end so we drove 800 kilometres back across the state to jump on a plane to Queensland for more family visits and collect our new sail. Today is a pretty exciting day because we're in our old stomping ground on the sunny coast. We're going to see Aaron from Core Sales, who happens to have made the biggest, most colourful, asymmetrical spinnaker you could ever think of. And it's coming back to Thailand with us to Nanji. So let's go have a sauce yeah. at this puppy. Are you excited about this? Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, but we had to do a lot of um, sewing work. I had to make a boom bag and a sow cover bag and a few other things. And Aaron held us a lot. Le Aaron lent me his sewing machine and, so, and I, I sewed it myself, but um, he lent me the machine. So it was really nice. He held us out a lot before we yeah. left Australia. He's so a legend. If you we're are pretty the, stoked to come back and have a sauce. If you're in Queensland and you need a sail, you have to come to Core Sales. Just here. Yeah. See Aaron. Head on up, eh? Hello. Hello. She's a bit dusty. She's been sitting on the bench. She's sitting there for a while. Yeah. Look at those colours. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful. That's gonna look so cool flying through the air. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you've been watching any videos on YouTube on how to use them. Huh? Yeah, we have a little bit. Yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The ring with nothing attached to it, it's your clue. Yep. So your sheet. Yep. You're probably never going to drive this, so. Yeah, I'll, I wouldn't have planned to. Just run one sheet. Yeah. How it attaches to here? Yep. Yeah, so the actual head of the sail. Right under. It sits on this drop in here. Yep. Just check this yeah, shackle nice. occasionally. Okay. How it attaches to there. Yep. And obviously when the sock goes up, it all sits up as well. Yeah, yeah. start with it will be there. Six yeah. knots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So wherever you guys feel comfortable, yeah. that's obviously it. It's a running sail. It's, yeah, of course. If that was, don't push it reaching. As you get more and more comfortable with it, you'll find a point where you want to get it off. Yeah. And you get it off early. It's a lot easier to get it off early than... And yeah. it's pretty easy to get the sock over it to, yeah. to kill it. Yeah, just let the sheet go. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yep. Pull, the, pull the line, you'll work out. Yep. Yep. Just keep an eye out if it is you know, stormy and gusty or anything. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to get caught out with it. And it just stops in there, so you yeah. can just drop it and hold it as it's coming down. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the best Christmas present ever. It's worth a trip to Australia, just this. I'm sure that you've seen the bushfires that are raging across Australia. It's been a very scary and sad place to be. Um, we have come back to Australia to see our family and friends. We spent a good amount of time driving across the countryside in South Australia and now we're at my mum's house. 
We've been working with our graphic designer to create t-shirts to fundraise. We've also um, donated and promoted donating to certain organizations and we still feel helpless and we still want to do more. So my mum uh, and I were going to take some food down to the food bank today and I just, I thought why don't I reach out to our audience so that we can really fill this car up with food and you guys responded on Instagram. So thank you so much to everyone that helped chip in and donate. We raised $2,200 and we're off today to the shops and uh, take it to the food bank here on the Sunshine Coast. I haven't found the bathroom stuff yet in this place. Oh, here we go. There is quite a bit on offer of personal hygiene stuff. There's no real baby things. Oh, oh yeah, just the other. Yeah, baby there, pants. Yeah. Baby pants, that's nappies, eh? Yeah. Things you learn. <laughs> right, so we have $2,224 to be exact. And I guess, how do you spend that? <laughs> just chuck a slab, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> one of those things. <laughs> Thanks. We filled up two trolleys full and we're going to head to the car now and see how much space we have left and then we'll come back and buy the rest. Let's fill this puppy up. All right, now that's one pretty good effort. We've got a clear view so the driver can see out a rear view mirror. Yep. Uh, safety first. Safety first. All right, let's go drop this off. Yes. Woo! Oh, it just breaks my heart. Just, oh. It's really nice. See so many people helping and... Yeah. Oh my God, thank you. Yeah, we got a little bit excited. <laughs> so they got a heap of different pallets, so we just need to organize where it all goes. So this is actually a family business where they fix up trucks and a couple, they owned a few trucks. They said, we're gonna fill up our, a truck full of stuff, um, invite people to donate and we're gonna drive it down to um, a town. And so they called around and they were looking for a town that wasn't being serviced by food bank. They found Cobago, which is a small town of 800 people. There's only two houses left there, so the entire town is burnt down. They asked the people there if they wanted money or food, and they said there's nowhere to buy anything, so money is completely useless. So uh, they've invited the Sunshine Coast people to come down here and donate, which is what we've done. It's Wednesday now. They're filling up three trucks now and uh, they're gonna deliver it tomorrow morning. So it's going directly to a community um, straight away. It's not going to sit on the shelf anywhere. So thank you to everyone that donated. It's, it's going straight to the people. So thank you so much. It's awesome to have our new sale, but as we are in Australia and we need to get back to Thailand, we need to somehow get our eight kilo massive asymmetrical spinnaker back to Thailand and to Nanji. So we've got a vacuum bag and I've stuffed it in. Never operated these things before, but. It actually worked really well. My go again, though, eh? We're on the way to go and get Marley. He's been staying at a little doggy resort, so he's had full-time he full carers and other dogs to play with and run around with and um, lots of couches to snooze on and a big yard to play in, so yeah, he's been very well looked after. Um, but yeah. we're pretty excited yeah. to get the little guy. Yeah, we just want to have him back now. How much have you missed Marley? Yeah, I can't wipe it off my face now. Yeah. yeah I'm really excited. So, yeah, we've been trying not to think about it too much because it, yeah. But now, we can now. We can now. <laughs> yeah. wow. We're going to try our best to film this. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to go. It might be, it's going to be some pretty crazy footage, I think. So, we'll pretty try our best. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh yeah. Many dogs. Hello, <laughs> 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 Oh. 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 Oh.
a one and a half hour drive back to Nanji. See what Nanji's like. Back with you. Oh, we've made it back to the marina. It's a bit nervous time coming down to see Nanji for the first time, but I can see Nanji's mask, so she's still floating. <laughs> We're just going to find a trolley, and I'm just going to have a quick little inspection on her, see how she looks, and we'll move all our gear down. <laughs> okay. We're loaded. Hang on to that thing. She's pretty loaded. <laughs> How much do you weigh? <laughs> Here she is. Mm, the growth. Yeah. I thought it was going to be so green and covered in crap. Yeah, wait till you. Even on the sides as well. Yeah, it might be a different story underwater. I still got to jump in and have a look at the prop before we move her anyway. Yeah, yeah. Everything just looks like how we left it. Doing, buddy? Straight down, eh? Whoa, she smells a bit boaty. Oh, welcome home! Oh, I remember being heaps bigger than this. <laughs> welcome home, oh, come I'm... down to the stench. It's crazy. It's not actually too bad in here. Oh, it smells a bit boaty, yeah. It smells a bit boaty. Yeah. I can't believe this is our house. This is. This is our house, you know. Do you remember being heaps bigger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're used to this. Uh, oh my god. It's exciting, you know. It's like moving in for the first time again. It's like an open slate. Yeah. It's like a, a blank canvas and once is, again. This is exciting. This is. This is very exciting. I'm super ready to get stuck into it. I'll tell you that. I want a cold drink. I need the toilet. Well, guess what? What? Should I hang on to the phone? Hang on to this for a sec. Yeah. <gasps> we left the fridge on. Oh, what was that? What? Was it? Oh, we got a gecko. Don't. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be a rat. Oh, like, oh shit. But yeah, no, it's a gecko. That's good. It means it'll have yeah. like, posh perches or anything. No bugs. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> These are completely used. This one here. This one's, yeah, completely used as well. I was expecting the boat to be in a worse condition than it is, but it's actually not too bad. Like, there's no mold on the roof. It does have kind of a boaty smell, but, um, you know, once we air it out, that should be fine. We're still gonna, like, wipe the roof down and everything down, but it's pretty good. It's so, you know, we've been in Queensland, which is also a very hot place, and um, it's a completely different heat to here. It's just really humid, and you're just constantly wet with sweat. So the first thing I did coming back to Nanji was took my clothes off, put a bikini on and some shorts on, and put my hair up. <laughs> I've come back a few kilos heavier, Definitely got a bit festively plump back in Australia, just eating all the time and then drinking like thicker beers, not like watery beers. Uh, definitely got a bit of work to work that bad boy off, but do you know how hot it is? Look at my leg, I've got a leg sweat. See him? Running down? Yeah. You're just sitting there drinking beer and just, you got. And I've got leg sweat. How bad is it, boss? Yeah, this room is a little bit bad. It's quite a little, a little bit of mold in here. I'm not sure how well I cleaned it before we left. So, yeah, just going over it, sprucing it up, making it smell a bit fresher. I think I'll clean the the walls and the roof on the other rooms as well, just to freshen it up a little bit. But this room was fully closed. All yeah. hatches oh, yeah. just had the fan going. And I'm so glad that I unpacked the bed and like took the sheets off and stuff because I guarantee that it would have been completely covered in mold by the time we got back. Like, guarantees. If only we knew about vac bags before we went oh, back we to Australia. We did know about them, we just didn't have them. Oh, we didn't know about them, but we, they weren't in our possession. But now that they are, <laughs> probably the best piece of technology. That sail sucked down to nothing. Beach towels, wouldn't have been able to fit them in if we didn't. So we got 12 kilos over in our luggage to bring back to Nanji because we discovered vac bags and how much they can suck everything down and pack everything in. Get it, get them. So good to be back. It's, it really is a really good feeling to be back. And I, 
just coming back and then walking around Nanji and just it feels right. Yeah, it feels awesome. Yeah. We've been in a lot of houses lately and we're like, oh, are we going to like it when we get back on the boat? And the answer is yes, we love it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Like, it, it, this is home. Yeah, we prefer this over anything. Oh, it's so much better. On the drive here, we're like, this is pretty cool already. <laughs> we're going to our house right yeah. now. And now that we're on board, yeah. Amazing. Loving it.